Hi, everybody. I'm Lady Yaya. Welcome to my channel. And for those of you who are wondering what Yaya means, it's Grandma in Greek. Today we're doing a makeup video. So, let's make up. Good morning. It is, oof, I got like 20 minutes to get this show on the road <laughs> today. Um, okay, I have not done a video for a while and woof. The last one was, let's see, what was I doing in the last video? Oh yeah, I got a pedicure. Oh whoa, I love going to that it's called Pixie Nails. It's in Oceanside, Cal uh, in North County, North San Diego County, California. Mm, and I'm drinking my coffee black. Yeah, I put on a little bit of pounds. Not a lot, just maybe about three, because I ate like four days in a row. <laughs> we went up to the cabin and we just had a good time. And I had hot rum toddies and we had like, um, oh, on the first night we got there, my brother-in-law made um, eggnog and we put um, spiced rum in that. I only, I don't drink a lot, mind you, but just one of those is a ton of calories. I had one. It was delicious. You know, so it wasn't so sweet. We put a little heavy cream in it. Okay, so let's talk about skincare. It was very dry up there. I don't know if you can see this, but, um, yeah, I just, oh, I used a product that I don't normally use. I just keep it to, to travel with. And I realized it, um, has a coconut base and sometimes I have a sensitivity to coconuts and sometimes I don't, I don't know why some, maybe it's higher concentrations, but this time my eyes puffed up. It was really bad on Sunday. And I just, everybody went out and did stuff and I didn't because Yaya is very vain. <laughs> okay, I admit it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna deny it. And I laugh about it too because my Yaya was very vain. Seriously, and my father was very vain. Okay, so this is a new thing that I've been using. Um, it's, uh, the name of it is can't remember the name of this stuff. It's something that somebody recommended that it's like a moisture. It, it puts moisture. It's like, a, um, it's called urea moisture lotion. Okay. And I noticed that it really does make my, it, it adds moisture to your skin. So you want to use something like this before you even put your hyaluronic acid on. So here's I'm putting it on like a toner and because I used it yesterday to wash all my, well, not to wash my makeup on off, but after I washed all my makeup off, I put it on before I used my Retin-A. Anyways, I just noticed I got a moisture. I'm going to probably do some slugging this week. So I got like 20 minutes. To be walking out that door. I got my bag pack for work. Yes. So we're going to do a makeup today. I'm going to take a little more time. And this is a hyaluronic acid. I got this. Um, it came in my Ipsy box. And it is called Dew of the Gods. And it's um, the theory. And it's retinol. Oat milk. Hyaluronic cream blend and I really like it. I like this under my makeup when I get up in the morning. So I'm using this because it's got the hyaluronic acid in it and it's going to go on underneath my makeup and I got some empties coming. You guys, I'm so excited. I'm going to do my first empties. So I'm going to put that on and yeah, so we had a nice weekend and we ate, we actually ate turkey on Saturday. It was really good. My sister and I baked, cooked all day long. She was the main cook. I was just like the sous chef, chopping stuff and doing stuff with her. 
She's such a good cook. I helped her make her pies. She does stuff like my mom used to do. And she, she, I, I'm the Yaya person that watched my grandparents cook in the kitchen. So I can make all the Greek foods like domades and spanikopita. Now, if you don't know what that is, domades is grape leaves stuffed. But the way my grandmother did it, she stuffed it with rice, pine nuts. It was just rice and pine nuts and onion. And it, oh gosh, it's just so good. It was so delicate and tender and beautiful and the way she did it. And I do it just like her. I watched my grandparents cook in the kitchen. Spanikopita is like spinach with cheese, feta cheese and uh, cottage cheese and egg. And it's like a souffle in between phyllo dough. Oh my, and lots of butter. Okay, I didn't make that this over the weekend. We didn't have that, but I do make that. My sister makes it too, but I make it more like my grandparents. <laughs> she makes excellent too. She can, she can do the same thing. I just like to, I'm not a big cook, but when I cook, I like to cook that. And there's also the, the same thing, the spani copita with, with just no spinach. It's just the egg souffle with the cheese and the, oh gosh, it's so good. Anyways, I'm talking about food, right? And it's early in the morning. I'm drinking my coffee black because I got to drop these. I have a, a little plan. My thing is, I always try to do a maintenance <clears throat> this gives me a lot of freedom. All right, I'm going to stay busy here. Okay, so I just put on the hyaluronic acid. Now I'm going to put on, and I let that soak for a minute. And now I'm going to put on my SPF. And it is the La Roche-Posay 100. I'm almost done with this because I got another one that my girls turned me on to. Once I'm out of this, we will be talking about that one. My daughters are so cute. It's nice when I'm using things up because I never like get through things. And I have a little breakout because of those all that rich food. Boy, did we did we eat? We go up to that cabin. It doesn't matter what time of year we go up, we eat a lot. <laughs> and not a lot. You know, I was really good. I still did my intermittent fasting through the day. And I do it with heavy cream, mostly. Today, I'm not. Today, I'm I'm changing things up. I'm cleaning up my diet quite a bit. Because I just did notice that when I am when I eat like that, I'm, I, I get really tired. And I already struggle with exhaustion. So, let's see. I'm going to put... I got a new foundation. Of course, I'm always getting a new foundation. This one was... Little Poet was talking about it. It's called Illuminance by Revlon. Of course, you know everything is going to go down below what I'm using. Illuminance by Red Redkin, um, Revlon. Redkin. Not Redkin. All right, so I'm going to put some of that on. And, you know, this is not going to be a long, drawn-out makeup day because I have to go to work. And I will apply it with... And I got these these things... I was watching Tati and she talks about loving these. So I bought some. I'll let you know if I like it. Um, I'm not going to do it. I did use this um, when I was up on the mountain. And I noticed it's not a real heavy coverage. Although it's nice. It does make the skin look nice. And I do have my favorites. I also, I used this one day and then another day, of course, I used um, my Purbel, which I can't kind of like Purbel because when I do a lot of layering with skincare, the Purbel is nice because it's, it's not a moisturizing kind of foundation. So, okay, so that's that. Yeah, so it's kind of dewy, and of course it's even more dewy because I have a bunch of stuff underneath. So how is everybody? Did you guys eat a lot last week? Boy, woof. I have, well, so it's just three pounds. So I was talking about maintenance, you know, and I'm sorry, you know, you guys, my, I think I have, I, I really do think I have ADD 
because I get scattered in my conversation and I always watch back my videos and I go, oh my gosh, how could anybody even like these videos? Because <laughs> I'm all over the place all the time. <laughs> anyway, so what I'm putting on, this one is called, um, oh, these are always such hard names. This is called Hex and it is, I got this from, um, I like this one. It's a powder. Of course, it's kind of, it's very neutral. Um, and I do like this a lot just for the, for the eye lid. I need to put on the lid to put underneath something. Um, this is nice for contouring. It's a contouring powder. And because it's not summer anymore or fall, you know, nobody's out in the sun anymore, so we have a little bit more pale skin. So I don't want to do a, a real heavy, um, I don't need to go as heavy on, on the contouring. So, there you go. And so I'm going to make this quick. So yeah, so I've cleaned up my diet quite a bit, which means I still intermittent fast, but I'm going lighter on the foods. I'm backing off on, um, I'm just going to go more into more vegetables and salads and things like that for not for very long, just for enough to drop the pounds and intermittent fast. And that really drops the pounds because I don't like to be hungry. Once it, when I'm intermittent fasting, I tell myself, okay, at the end of the day, or not the end of the day, I break my fast around one. This is just a lip moisturizer. It's called, um, uh, see, now I have to use my magnifying glass. It's called Powerful Plump Replumper Extreme Lip Balm by Big O or something like that. I don't know, Buxom Cosmetics. All right, it looks like this. I usually put this on before I go to bed at night too. My hair, <laughs> you guys. So, for those of you that are just tuning in, I'm Lady Yaya and welcome. And for those of you that have been with me for a while, welcome back. It's great having you. I'm so glad to see you all. So glad you came back. I left my stand up at the cabin, the one that I really like, because I have it hanging. It's like I have this whole thing rigged up. All right, I don't have my lights up today, so sorry, the lighting is poor. So that is what I did with the contouring. And I will be using, this is called Persona. I took this up on the mountain with me. I got this off out of my Ipsy. I get a lot of Ipsy and Boxy Charm. Goodness. I mean, I don't even really need to go out and buy stuff because when I buy the packets or, you know, the program thing. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this right here on the lid. And... It's not really a dark color at all. And I'm just putting this on. Yeah, I don't really need to go out and buy a lot anymore, but I do buy my foundations. I don't get a lot of foundations from, from the Ipsy. And I think the um, Boxy or whatever it's called, I think they combined their businesses. I think Ipsy might've bought them out. So you, they've got some different kinds of programs. Um, <coughs> oh, and I got a little cough and I think it's because we had the fireplace going all the time and with the fireplace thing going on, it, I think it, it, um, affect, made my lungs a little bit upset my lungs a little. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to use this color. It's pinkish. It's called passion. It's called passionate. The other one was called loyal so I put loyal on and now I'm doing passionate and I'm just gonna put this here I know I don't know how to use my brushes right I just use whatever I like to make sure I have a little more control 
and I'm just putting it on over the whole eyelid and I'm going for a softer daytime look today so it's not going to be heavy and I'm going to put that back so I've got all I've got my makeup bag here from when I took it up to the mountain and so this is I put my rose water spray in these pretty little bottles I have one for my hyaluronic acid that I mixed with um uh like a moisture spray like with this moisture spray I mix them together and then during the day I just spritz my face to keep it hydrated especially since it's so dry right now and this is just a rose water spray and I wet my I wet my little um, angle brush. So I was watching um, Becky Madden, and she was she kept remarking about the fact that every one of these palettes has black and dark brown. So I'm going to start with dark brown and finish it off with black. I'm going to line my eyes with these darker colors. So with the dark brown, I still go all along the edge, right around. The la right by the lash line. For my eyes, it always works for me to do a thicker liner, and that's why I like to use um, these powder, these powders, darker eyeshadows, because I like a, a I like a heavier line, but I like them to be soft. And then I'm gonna do this side. And what I like to do is um, I angle it up. See, I go up. I, and I always start my line from the middle and out. Rarely do I start in and go out. And then I just take it from the inside and I go to that point. But always I'm really good about the lash line. Just make sure you cover the lash line good and you make a nice even um, line on each side. You match them. And then I take the same color this is called, on this palette, it's called Brave. So I'm passionate, brave, and loyal. <laughs> this is a nice palette. I like the names of these. I don't really like the names on a lot of palettes. That's why they probably, and so so I'm doing this too. So I always start here and come out. Start here in the middle and come out. Everybody does their makeup different. But I like to line my eyes like that. And I have more rounder eyes or overshaped eyes and they're pretty big. And so I get away with a whole lot more guys. But you can still do this with different shapes of eyes. You just have to, you know, I always say when you're over 50 or over 40, go up. Start moving it up. Don't mess around with your cut with your um eyeshadows. You know, always go up because otherwise it drags down and it doesn't look pretty. And then I'm just going to blend these. And I'm not going to do black today because it's daytime. And if it was evening, I, I might just finish it off with a little black right around along the, the lash. So um, next I'm going to, and you know what I might do is just to add a little bit of shine, a little bit of sparkle. This is called Empowered. All right, so I'm gonna go with this right here, this one right here. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go over the edge of the, um, of the top of the line, just for a little extra something. I'm not covering the whole lid. I'm just going on the top of my liner just to give it a little bit of something and then I'm going to blend it and that's going to be that. Let's see, let's use this blender brush. Some of these brushes that I get from Ipsy, I love and some of these I don't like at all. So, and then yes, I do have to do my brow. So I might take, I might take this brush and it's pretty clean. So I'm just going to do my brow. So I might just take that, you know, I don't want to use anything in this palette. So I'm going to take the same contour color from this hex. And I'm going to take that darker spot right there. And I'm just going to do my eyebrows. 
And look at that. It's just plenty dark for me. Being blonde, I don't need like to be really have a dark shadow on. So look at that. That looks really good. Yeah. Yeah, so we had a really good time. We had fires. We had puppies. I didn't get to take... I can't... I have three dogs. I can't take all three of those dogs. My aunt... my One of my uncles passed away last year. So we invited my aunt, who's... They got a mobile home down. He helped... He's, he, my husband helped them remodel a mobile home down in um, Desert Hot Springs. So she drove up with her dog, Gigi. Gigi, you're such a sweet little girl. Yes, you are, you just darling. Aw. Gigi, what's the matter? Is mommy gone? She'll be back. She'll be back. <laughs> she's a pug. She's a cute dog. And she's got the longest tongue I've ever seen in a dog. I have this. It's like a highlighter blush stuff. And I got this from Ipsy. It's like a body glow. And it's really hard for me to open. Oh my gosh, I made a mess opening it. So it's this. This is called uh, Danessa Myricks. And it is a highlighter. It's a, it's a highlighting face and body balm. But I kind of like it because it has a little pink to it. So today I'm just gonna use it as a blush and a highlighter too, and it's real moisturizing because right now oh, putting a lot of powder on is a little much for me. And I, I kind of like it. It's pretty. I just do this because it's got a little sparkle. There's that little mascara, little lipstick, and we're out the door, guys. So, um, see, you know what I like about these lip plumping bombs is that by the time you're done with your makeup, your lips get nice and a little fuller kind of fills out some of the wrinkles and um that's that all right so so in case you do want to use liner you can and i'm just doing a light smattering i'm using my big mood by elf which is my favorite i've tried other ones and i keep going back to the big mood you know? All right, there you go. And because I don't have a lot of time, I'm not gonna do any lip liners. I've got some new lip liners from Ipsy Box. I should be the Ipsy girl or the Ipsy grandma or whatever. <laughs> so, so anyways, back to weight loss. So I just got like three pounds to drop off and it'll come off this week next seven days and I'm not like too extreme but I'm gonna have when I get home around one I'll break my fast with some apples because my apples are my favorites and right now it's apple season and I'm gonna have a baked potato or two with no fat on it no butter no nothing and I'm gonna have um I'm gonna make myself a big salad and I'm going to use an oil-free dressing, probably Bragg's from Bragg's or one of those and I, that I get from Sprouts. And that'll be that. And I'm going to fill up because I like to eat. I like to have a couple of apples and then I like to eat dinner a couple hours later. Okay, this is my rose water spray. And then I'm just going to, I'm just kind of like using it as a setting spray. And um, let's see. I think I will... Uh, let's see what kind of lipstick. I'm going to use this color. This is from Baby Doll. And of course, I will put this down at the bottom. I don't really know what color it is right now. Uh, obviously, it's more of a coral. See that? It's pretty. I don't. I'm not too fancy. I just want it for color. Oh, I just made a mess. So I'll we'll just take that sponge. I kind of like this for spreading. I'll just tap it all in. 
And that's that. It's just a soft daytime look for work. Not a lot of mascara, a soft shadow, little pops of color. And I'm ready for work. I did my hair already. My shorter hair. <laughs> no, I'm not going any shorter than that. Oh, you know what? I got to finish it off with, um, I'm going to finish it off with my e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder, which is another one that I absolutely love. I'll use this brush. I keep certain brushes for certain things. I have, and because I didn't do uh, um, a concealer today, I didn't have time. I want to take some of this shine, too much shine off, but it still has a dewy look. And that's one nice thing about these finishing powders is they do take away... So I'm going to turn this light off so you can kind of see how the makeup actually does look. Let's see. There. That's in the natural light. That There's daylight coming out from the window. <laughs> All right. There you go. That's my look for the day. I'm growing out my bangs, which makes me really happy. My hair is coming back. Yes. All right. Thank you for watching, everybody. I really appreciate you. You're awesome. And... I am looking forward to doing more fun videos. All right, have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful week, month, whatever, whatever is happening in your life. Have a wonderful one. Goodbye for now and love you, love you. So I'm just stopping to get a celery juice. It's going to taste so good. I love celery juice.